Hi, I'm back with another great story about St. John and a New Brunswick product. This time I'm going to be talking about Brunswick fisheries. So in 1885, 135 years ago, brothers Patrick and Lewis Connors, the Connors brothers, went out in their small rowboat, the Hummingbird, into the Bay of Fundy and into those crystal clear and freezing cold waters of the North Atlantic and were fishing for juvenile herring or sardines for their families. Um, that business, or sorry, that action actually turned into a business. Those two young men started building weirs and started building a factory and warehouses and soon became the economic driver for Southern New Brunswick out of Blacks Harbor. Blacks Harbor is about a one hour drive from St. Awesome, St. John, New Brunswick. And uh, so what started off as, uh, you know, for me in the Nashwalk, it was a treat at Christmas time with crackers, then became a staple in lunch pails. So these preservative free treats, um, you can see they're in water or in soy, they have the sauces. Um, in Blacks Harbor, they produce, or they actually go through between 150 and 250 tons of sardines per day. Um, you open up one of these cans, this one is a uh, lemon sauce. You've also got the kippered snacks and uh, a friend's uh, favorite, actually my cousin's favorite, mustard sauce. All right, so let's test one of these. So they come in, uh, they come wrapped in plastic and then they have uh, the tin inside. And so it's the good old classic ring. Time to open her up and take a look inside. Oh, the mustard is coming out. So there you go. It's a combination of hand and machine processing. They're cooked. <laughs> They're cooked without preservatives in the tin. And so these have a good long shelf life. If you can imagine, in 1935, so that's about 85 years ago, there was a major uh, natural disaster that hit the West Indies and uh, Brunswick Fisheries actually sent food aid to support the families in the West Indies. And uh, sardines from Blacks Harbor became such a special treat and such a really, a, 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 such a well-loved product in the West Indies that the West Indies now has their own special flavors that are produced by Connors Brothers. So now we have the last remaining sardine canning company in North America and the largest sardine processing company in the world. They process 160 million tins a year and it's all happening about an hour's drive from St. Awesome. Making history with sardines, sounds good to me. Hope we get a chance to host you here in St. Awesome, St. John, New Brunswick. Cheers.